Hello. Hello. Thanks for coming in today. We have your full wellness exam scheduled for next year. Yeah, thanks. We'll see you then. Have a great day. <laughs> I'm a virgin. I haven't told many people that. Why not? I mean, I'm almost 21 years old. That I Most of my friends were on their third or fourth by the time we graduated high school. Why does it matter what your friends have done? It's just embarrassing. When did you first realize you might be traumatized? I don't know. Or I don't know that I am traumatized. Why do you think you aren't traumatized? I mean, I didn't watch someone die. I didn't go to war. I didn't get violently raped. It's just such a stupid thing to be traumatized over. Then why are you here? My doctor thinks I'm traumatized, so I guess that's when I first realized it. I went in because I was concerned about my head. I've had the bump since the incident, and I get headaches there a lot. I asked my doctor about it. And she asked me what happened. She then told me I should see a therapist. That it might be worth it to talk about what happened. She used the word trauma. Nobody had ever used that word before. When you think of your first gynecologist, how do you feel? Angry. Pissed off, upset. Any of those would work. Why? Look what happened. I mean, she's the reason all of this happened to me. Like, I didn't get an apology or anything. Do you want an apology? I don't know. You want to know the funny part? Right after it happened, a nurse came to my side, told me it wasn't uncommon what had happened to me. <laughs> she said it so nonchalantly, like my whole life hadn't just changed completely. If it was so fucking common, why didn't anyone say anything? Very few days go by where I'm not reminded of what happened. What reminds you? My head. My top lip where they stitched it back together. The way I can't watch certain scenes in movies without averting my eyes and waiting for it to end. <laughs> Every time something reminds me of what happened. I wonder what my life would be like if it never had. And what would that look like? Less pain. Less... tears. I wouldn't be so scared of intimacy. Of relationships, of being close to someone. I wouldn't have to carry this secret with me. The black eye, stitches, cuts, and bruises faded away. But I can't forget them. It haunts me like a dark cloud that has lingered over me for years, raining on me every time I think I'm moving on. Do you want to move on? Of course, but it's uh, easier said than done. I hate talking about it. Why? I feel like a fraud. I carry this pain around like I'm the victim of some horrifyingly tragic and traumatic ordeal. You don't think what you went through can be described by those words? I can't relate to other women who have the same issues I do. I wasn't attacked by someone I didn't know. I wasn't held down and raped. I didn't have to walk home terrified and crying. I didn't have police try to blame me for what happened. I didn't have to get a rape kit or go to trial or testify or be called a slut or be told I was asking for it or...
but I was assaulted. Morning. By someone I trusted. By someone who was supposed to take care of me. How was I supposed to know what was happening? She didn't say anything to me. I can still feel it. I will never forget how it felt. How can I explain that to someone? I wasn't raped. But that's what it felt like. Do you think it's healthy to compare your trauma to others? No. But what else can I do? How many other people can say they got a pap smear and went into shock? How many people can say they fainted, slammed their head into a cabinet, and fell to the floor? How many people can say that they've lived in fear of intimacy, sex, relationships, and whatever else for years because someone didn't think to ask or check beforehand? How many people can understand that, can understand what I, I went through? But I don't even understand what I went through. It's been years and I still can't process what it means to be traumatized. Why do you think it's so hard to admit that to yourself? Admitting it means I have to accept it. It means I have to look back on that day and say, yes, that happened. And I can't change it. But I'm not ready to accept it. Thank you.